Matt, thank you. Okay, friends, it is Thursday, Friday Eve, and I know many of you are so excited for another weekend during the holidays, and St. Louis is the place to be for festive fun. We are so happy to have one of our longest friends of Great Day, Sarah Thompson, in our brand <laughs> new studio. I know, it's gorgeous, it really is. Well, yeah. we're so happy to have you and that you made the move with us yes, to our yes, new yes. location. It's beautiful, we should just throw a Christmas party here. No. <laughs> there are plenty of Christmas parties going on all over town. Yeah. Let's Let's start with the first one, Brewery Lights. So Brewery Lights is a really good one because this is kind of a mix of the light display but also walking around and doing things indoors and outdoors. Mm -hmm. So it's down at Anheuser-Busch at the Brewery and Beer Garden. You pay your ticket fee. If you're over 20 win, you get a complimentary 16 ounce beer when you walk oh. in. And so you can do everything from tours through the brewery, um, the old school house that they have there. Um, they've got a lot of kids activities, a kids wonderland, mm -hmm. uh, s'mores roasting, like performances. And then at 7.30 for each night that it's open, um, they have this parade down um, Pestalozzi Street there, mm -hmm. right there, and the Clydesdales are in it oh. and sort of floats and dancers and performers. There's a lot that's going on. You can't quite get it all from the mm -hmm. footage. We just did this too over Thanksgiving and it was fantastic, Good. but I encourage people to go to it. It's an indoor outdoor. You can go inside to warm mm -hmm. up too, but a great experience down at the brewery. Something that is outdoor is what's going on at the <laughs> zoo. Wildlife. Wildlife. They totally transform the zoo each year. It's amazing for Boo at the Zoo, how they do mm -hmm. it for Halloween, and then at Christmas, how they do it too. So this is the Christmas sort of event at the St. Louis Zoo. Uh, what's cool about this too is you can go through, see all these amazing light displays. They have over a million lights, but then you can also go and see the insectarium is open, um, the penguin and puffing post is open, the carousel. Uh, so other things are open at the zoo, get some hot chocolate, but this is a great one. When you drive by 40 at night, it's like beaming. Oh, from, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, beaming at night, but I would say this is a great one for kids and you can just go and walk around and have a good time. And another fun one people look forward to every year is Winter Wonderland at Tilly. Park. Yeah, the one at Tilly's Park is really a tradition. It's been around since 1987. Mm -hmm. Every year I'm sort of amazed at how they do it all in the 75 acres, but this is one where you can stay in your car, just pull in off of McKnight and go through. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, it's beautiful. With They've got a hundred different displays, a million lights. Um, but check it out. This one runs through the 30th of Good. December. And I'm amazed that it's 75 acres. Yeah, for Tilly's Park. I yeah, yeah, did yeah. not realize it was that big. I, I see that when you see all the Christmas lights, you're like, how oh, did they do this? Right. Something that I would really like to get to to see was Twas the Night Before. It's happening right now at the Fabulous Fox. I didn't realize that this was a Cirque du Soleil show. Yeah, so this is Cirque du Soleil's first holiday show mm -hmm. and it's inspired by the poem, you know, the, what is it? Uh, Twas, Twas the, the Night, night before, before Christmas. Christmas. But I think the, the house. a visit from St. Nicholas, I guess, is mm -hmm. the official one. But yeah, it's inspired by that, but you have the acrobatics, all the characters, um, and just, they have, I, I was reading, it was the soundtrack of reinvented holiday classics. But this is a way to, you can be indoors, get in the spirit, but see some really cool circus arts and performing arts. And then finally, two gospel concerts, Christmas themed. I have a feeling the music is just going to be spectacular and powerful. Uh, yeah, I wanted to mention this because there's we have some great gospel music performances. Mm -hmm. The one that the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra's in unison chorus does, that's one of their two resident courses, is this weekend. Uh, it's Friday uh, at Stiefel Theater. They do this every year. Very inspiring Christmas uh, music, holiday music, other things. The featured um, vocalist is uh, Whitley Phipps, who's a bass baritone Grammy nominated. And then there's another one that's actually free that we wanted to include mm -hmm. and this is Community Gospel Choir of St. Louis and they're doing a free concert on Sunday at 5 p.m. at the Kirkwood no at 4 p.m. I'm sorry at Kirkwood Methodist Church and this is a local choir mm -hmm. that is people from all faiths all ages uh, backgrounds I'm um, coming together to put together this concert how so check nice. that out. Yeah. and that it's free too yes yes, oh, yes. that's really really good Sarah good to see good you, to see you. congratulations home. everyone it's beautiful yeah it's really nice so happy to have you and St. Louis plenty to do this weekend so we'll post this segment on firstalert4.com slash great day following the show. Guys? That's so fun. You know what I like oh about God, the shit. Tillis Park lights? What's up? You actually drive faster through Tillis Park than you do on McKnight when you're trying <laughs> to get there. Yeah. It's very popular is what Ken's trying to say. <laughs>